प्रवासी भारतीय समाज सेवी कार्यों के माध्यम से भारत में गरीब परिवारों की सहायता करते हैं हर्ष और डॉक्टर अरुणा भार्गव उनमें से एक हैं जिन्होंने सालों पहले शुरुआत की आई क्रिएट नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की अपने स्टूडियो में उन्हें आमंत्रित कर हमने आई क्रिएट की अधिक जानकारी प्राप्त की Tell us about I Create. Uh, what inspired you to start this organization? I don't know. We'll start up with you. Yeah, um, with us in nine, 1999, we had gone to India, and at that time the government had advertised for about 120 jobs, and over 100,000 young men and women applied. And they didn't even have enough applications. It was hard, and a riot broke out, and police opened fire. And when police opened fire, three young men died. Mm. Three young men would come looking for jobs to support their family. Then that deeply upset us, and we thought we really need to do something to help the situation. And we thought entrepreneurship might be the best way, so that help create job creators instead of job seekers. And uh, because there is another situation I want to mention. In the next twenty years. 200 million young people will join the job market in India. Amazing figures, but if we don't provide them good, reasonable jobs, India's chance to be economic superpower will be doomed. Look at it this way: 10 million young people join job market each year in India. Unless we have 10% GDP growth, we cannot employ these 10 million people. Not to talk about the backlog of underemployed and And unemployed, there are there. There is a. Well, my experience shows in emerging market that it is not the government or the large corporation that create jobs. It is the micro, small, medium-sized industry that create jobs. And therefore, it is so important that entrepreneurs at micro level start. So, give us some more uh, information about what's the mandate, what's the functioning, how do you operate while being in United States? That's very important for us to know. We are in in US, so we have a weekly phone meeting with our CEO, Mr. Ulas Kamat, amazing gentleman. We could talk about him, but then we every week we get fifteen weekly reports. We talk to people on phone. We visit India every year. but what is most amazing is because we have an amazing highly committed center directors and a very highly committed ceo of i create in bangalore so they basically are doing the transformational work that we have all started together aruna how do people enroll in i create we have several ways of doing it in our curriculum which we uh, took from our partner nifty in new york and we indianized it mm. um is so flexible that we can train a fifth class pass woman in a village or a semi urban area or even to college graduates now how do they come to it we have uh, we'll come back to our two streams you know cms changing the mindset and the other one is creating job creators these are two streams so in changing the mindset we provide training in educational institutions schools and colleges and then for job creators which is directly with women and unemployed youth who are not in uh, educational institutions we will work with uh, existing ngos mm -hmm. who are providing skills training and we will add the entrepreneurship component to it and that it is through educational institutions in our changing the mindset and through ngos and self help groups for women in particular that's how we come and just to give you an idea of how many we have done we have trained 36000 youth in this changing the mindset program and the more intensive creating entrepreneurs uh, stream we have created 2700 entrepreneurs wow. and most of them thank you most of them are mom and pop stores employing themselves and one or two people which is fine because now they are standing on their own feet and creating jobs some of them have been amazing one of them was quoted by dr abdul kalam the former president of india and maybe aruna can tell you the story of dr abdul kalam sure. of it go ahead aruna yeah. well dr abdul kalam uh, in one of his speeches 
a specially cited acreage, and we are very proud of the fact that he did. Uh, and he talked about um, one particular young man um, called Abdu Samad mm -hmm. in uh, West Bengal. He comes from a very small village, uh, and he uh, is the son of a, a, a school teacher. And he started eight years ago with a small seed farm. The business then grew. Of course, he had first attended our AEW, Aspiring Entrepreneurs Workshop, and our mentor handheld him and helped him with the funding and all those things, preparing his project report for, to get a loan from the bank. And then he became very successful, and today he employs 450 people in his village, practically his entire village is working for him. Yeah. And then uh, his business is now worth um, 100 million rupees. It is 10 crore rupees. Break break break. Community